Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is to load new filament in using uh, the print file that I created. I call them Load and Purge. And I have one for PLA, and I have one for ABS, both are right and the left side. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start that. Say that we've applied glue. And what you're, what you're looking at here is a uh, an open source uh, solution that I I designed for the Cube 3 and an Echo Cycle, which is the same printer. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, four by two PTFE tubing, feed assembly is modified um, to accept it also, same sort of fitting. Um, there's a brass insert that is hot welded into uh, this. It's very strong. Uh, so while this is heating up, first thing I need to do is clip the old stuff, get it out of the way, and I need to prep the new stuff. And the key to the success here is cutting it at an angle. You want it to feed, you want the filament to feed from the bottom clockwise, and cut it at an angle so it will turn right if it runs into anything. If you cut it the other way or flat, it has a habit of turning left. And uh, you're going to know when it happens because it makes a lot of noise. You're probably going to have to pull the, the feed assembly apart and make sure everything's okay. So once it gets to about so anywhere between 60 and 80 percent of that second heating cycle, you can pull this out. It's going to be hot. It may be stringy. Make sure it doesn't get towards any of the fans. Uh, there's going to be three feeding phases. The first one is going to push the clipped filament a little bit less than two inches past the feed assembly so that you can just remove the old filament. And this is PLA. I'm replacing it with transparent PETG. Um, but all of these all of these print files, the load and purge and the purge only, run at 260 degrees Celsius so that you don't have to worry about what was in there the last time or what may be in there um, that could be potentially causing an issue. Um, so we'll give that a second here to get up the temp. It's really close. Uh, now these echo cycle printers are nice. They print PETG only. That's what the echo cycle material is. I believe they made about 300 of these. Uh, and if you're interested, there we go. There we go. And it clicked. All right. So I'll discard that. There's a short break for. It's gonna grab the material for the second feed phase, which is slow just enough to get it into the tube so you can see it. This is clear so you're not going to be able to see it very well. Oh, but you line the filament up there it goes with turn this around so it's easy to see. Simply line the filament up the feed tube let it grab. You're going to know very quickly whether or not it's right. Now this last feed phase is very, it moves filament very quickly. So if this printer, uh, if kids have access to this printer, you want to keep this file uh, on a USB stick that isn't always in there. If your kids come up and accidentally uh, set it off, you're going to strip filament. You're going to have to perform some maintenance to fix it. So once that's clipped, I'm just going to stick it into the print tip. I'm going to push the, uh, push the fitting all the way down. Let me swing this back around so you can see the magic of the purge utility. You're going to be 
able to see very quickly what I did. Quite simply, I used <clears throat> Simplify 3D to print a ring, small ring, above the print bed, 25 or 30 millimeters. Uh, and once the filament begins coming out, uh, because the print head's moving, it's much, it's much less likely to stick to something on the print head. And I can see a little bit of PLA. It's working its way out now. And uh, yeah, pretty short order. We're gonna be ready to go with PETG. Now, I use Simplify 3D. So this one ABS cartridge it is, it is, is all I need because Simplify 3D does all the work for me. I put in the material code, same material code for every profile, and I build profiles for PETG, PLA, uh, PLA+, Plus, etc. Um, special, special ABSs, and I don't, I don't have to worry about switching anything. Uh, the profile is available uh, print3dforum.com. Uh, if you go out there, if, you, if you're watching this and you have any questions, you've got one of these and something's not working, um, go to Print 3D Forum. I, I believe the guy who owns it is, is Tommy D. If, if it isn't his forum, he's awesome. He's always the first one to respond. Um, but this is, this is ready to go. Um, Print 3D Forum, Tommy D will probably be the first person that answers to, you, to your questions. Uh, if you purchased one of these recently, and filament there's no filament right you, you've got PLA you most likely have PLA you load it up you try to print something nothing comes out you try to purge nothing comes out you maybe get a drop of filament the problem is the original PLA even if it's a brand new cartridge the PLA is so old that it's brittle and it breaks in the tube and you might think well it's trapped so eventually it'll push it through now once once it's broken you know that's it all the energy uh cannot transfer it and it, it'll never work so you, you probably have to take it apart but if you take it apart you clean it and you load pla that same old pla you're going to find it breaks again in short order you'll be lucky to get a print or two off uh, so you know what most people do is they look out on thingiverse there's a lot of good 3d printed uh open source solutions um, they don't even use a cartridge. You need the chip, um, it, and that works. Uh, this one here doesn't have any 3D com any 3D printed components. Um, it, I've I've sold a few of these, probably five or six. Everybody's very happy with them. I've sold some of these to to brand new uh, users, and they're very happy. So uh, that's all there is. Check it out. Let me know if you have any questions.